Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. The Oscars were on today. Here's Thomas with all the action. Yep, it's Hollywood's Night of Nights. So grab the popcorn and strap yourselves in for a star-studded lineup. Welcome to the 96th Oscars, everybody. It all kicked off with Jimmy Kimmel hosting for the fourth time. And a bit of relief everyone was back at work following last year's actors and writers strikes. Despite the fact that everything stopped, the people in this room somehow managed to come up with so many excellent films and so many memorable performances. But there were two movies that were on the top of everyone's lips, Barbie <laughs> and Oppenheimer, a.k.a. Barbenheimer. I think you guys are at the tail end of that because you were riding Barbie's coattails all summer. It was the rivalry of the cinematic year. And while Barbie was the most successful hit at the box office, it didn't do so well this awards season, with just one Oscar for Best Song by Billie Eilish. I want to thank my best friend Zoe for playing Barbies with me growing up and being by my side forever. But it was this performance of I'm Just Ken that really stole the show. Oh. I'm just else. Meanwhile, it was a different story for Oppenheimer. The movie, about a team of scientists who developed the atomic bomb, took home seven awards, including Christopher Nolan's first Oscar for Best Director and the biggest gong of the night, Best Picture. I could deny it, but I have been dreaming about this moment for so long. <laughs> <sighs> Millions of Aussies have sweltered through a very hot and very sweaty weekend. A massive heatwave across Victoria, South Australia, the ACT and Tasmania has seen temps reach more than 40 degrees in some areas. The hot conditions have also caused some events to be cancelled, including Melbourne's much-loved Moomba Festival Parade. Luckily, a cool change is coming for lots of areas tomorrow. Now it's time to talk about cereal. Yeah, it's shrinking. Here's Sass to explain. Yep, it's the Aussie brekkie staple we all know and love. But lately, our cereal's been getting smaller and smaller. Cereal is a repeat offender when it comes to shrinkflation. You see, new research from Deakin University has found that the average box of cereal has shrunk by 54 grams since 2019. Really, this happens quietly, and shoppers don't really notice until they realise that their favourite products at some point previously have gotten smaller. But here's the kicker. While the amount of cereal is shrinking, the price is staying the same. Or, in a lot of cases, going up by an average of $2.19. Something experts call shrinkflation. Consumers are still struggling and they're still not getting bang for their buck. Researchers say it's not good enough, especially since so many people are struggling with the cost of living at the moment. And with the CEO of Kellogg's pushing the idea of cereal for dinner as a cheap alternative for struggling families. If you think about the cost of cereal for a family versus what they might otherwise do, that's going to be much more affordable. Experts say we should be paying close attention at the checkout to make sure we're getting bang for our buck. It's not really the low cost good that it's being sold as. Cereal has its place, but I don't know that it's the best dinner choice. Oh, thank you. Yes. Now it's time for some quirky competitions that you'll have to see to believe. Ooh. First up, the Moomba Festival Parade might have been cancelled, but the Moomba Birdman competition wasn't. Flying or falling is the name of the game. Yep, you can't afford to be scared of heights here. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared of heights. Oh. <clears throat> it's all to raise money for charity, and the big winner of the day was Michael here, who flew 12 and a half metres. That looks like a much nicer landing. Now to Florida in the US, where the annual conch shell blowing contest is well underway. Yup, competitors of all ages took part. Some a little more experienced than others. I would give the advice of start slowly, learn that bass note that the conch shell has within it, and just play it nice and clear, as clear as they can. And finally, to a mix of skiing and horse riding I did not expect to see today. This is the Colorado Ski Drawing Race, which sees thousands of spectators flock to Leadville in the Rocky Mountains. So getting started it always, is always the scariest part, and then you're just flying down the avenue, and there's not really much to think about except for trying not to die. Well, that's all we've got time for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> for me? Oh, you shouldn't. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>